Hey guys, what's up? So welcome to video five in our React series. So in this one, we'll go ahead and set up semantic UI with the project and also see how we can use some of the semantic UI components like the menu to create our navigation navbar. Okay, let's get started. So if you go to react.semanticui.com, you can go to getting started and then you realize that you're going to need to install it. So let's go ahead and actually install it. So I'm gonna copy this command here. So in here, we're gonna go to another window with the terminal. And now we can do npm install semantic UI react. Okay, so from that, you are going to need to choose a theme. So we are going to be using the default theme. So we can actually use the CDN here. So we can copy this and then include it in our in our index HTML in public. So here, we can come over here. We should be here and include it. Let's wait for this to finish installing so we see what we have. Okay, so once the installation is complete, if we go back to our application, it, you'll notice that things have changed. Now we have this it's looking a bit different. Our link is looking a, dip, a bit different, meaning that we have semantic UI actually configured. So you can actually decide to use, to install this locally. So you can do that by adding this one. So let's actually do that because this will rely on the CDN, which is fine, but in development, you might be developing offline. So let's let's go ahead and install this. So npm install the CSS. So after you notice that after you do that, you're going to need to import it in your app entry file. So I'm gonna copy the CSS and go to our app.js. It should be here and I bring it in. Okay, so that should do the same. So I'm gonna go in the index of HTML and remove the, the CDN link. And once I remove it and we come back here, so it's gonna reload. Yeah, so the CSS has been added, meaning we should have the same thing. So now we have the same thing. Good. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up our application navbar, the one that goes from left to right. So for us to do that, Remember we created a folder for components. Since this is going to be used on different sections of the application, we can put it in components. So I'm actually going to call it header. So here in header, we can have an index.js file. So right here, now we can have our header, header component. So for us to create that, I'm going to use the, I'm going to bootstrap a component a basic component. So I'm gonna call this one header. And basically what it will do is return a menu from semantic. So now we can return menu. So in here, we can define menu items. So we won't be having the login and registration in the menu, but we will have a create contact, I just a create contact and the logout one. So you can actually create those here. So in the menu, we can have menu items. So you can have menu dot item. So the first item will be the one that will be showing the application name, like here. So I'm gonna be calling the application truly contacts. Okay, so let me also have some more. Let me also have some more items. So this one is going to be create contact. And this one is going to be logout. Okay, so if we come and take a look, nothing happens. And that's because we are not reuse, we are not showing this anywhere. So I'm gonna copy this. So if we go to, let's say our home route, so that would be in containers, uh, contacts, like here. So we can actually include this before we show the, the contacts text. So now you can do header, and we can import that one from our components. So that imports it here. So if you go back to the application, let's see what's happening here. Let's save again. Let's reload. And then if you go to the root, you see we have the header. Okay, so for us to have a bigger one, you can come over here in the header and add some props. So let's give it a secondary one. So when we give it a secondary one, it's going to go ahead and remove those lines you saw. So if we want to spread these items to the right, 
we can actually do that by coming to like the one we want on the right and giving it a position. So we can do position equals right. So the contacts we are telling it to go to the right. So if it reloads, you can see that these are now pushed to the right. Okay, so we also want to have our application logo here before the truly contacts text. So we can do that by coming to by coming here. So before we actually show the menu item, we can come in here and add an image. So semantic UI gives us an image component. So if you come over here, you can see that there is an image component and very many things are possible with it. So I'm bringing this one up so you guys can check it out to see what's possible. You can actually come over here and read more about what benefits you get. So all these props can actually save you a ton of time trying to implement custom functionality. So now we can have the image. We're gonna use one from Semantic. So we need to give it a source. Of course, this one is gonna be, let's see. So this one is going to be the logo. So let me put the logo here. So if you go to app.js, this is the import we need. Okay, so we will bring in the logo, the logo. So regarding the import, since now we are in the component and it's in the asset, we're going to need to go up one directory. So now if we come back, actually let me bring up the server. If we save this, we're going to need to do, let's see. We're going to need to import it like this. And now if you go to the application and reload, you can see that we are loading the, <laughs> the logo. Okay, so let's actually change its size. So here you can actually pass in like width and height. So I'm gonna pass width. I'm gonna set this one to 60. So if we come back, reload, you can see that, yeah, it's looking good. So if we came here and add a pointing probe, that's gonna go ahead and add this line down which I think is good. Okay, so for us to actually make this one a little bit bigger because it looks smaller, I'm going to have to increase the size of this. So we can do that. So in here on this item, we can add another style prop. So style. So here we can actually, let's see, let's increase the font. So font size. So this can be like 24. What else? Let's see. We got it. Yeah, so this is big enough. Okay, looking good. So instead of us having this regular text, I'm going to use buttons and also add some icons in there. So if we come back here on this, on this menu item, I'm going to now cut this text. And here we can have a button. So this button will be containing an icon. So we can pass an icon prop. We need to import the button from semantic. So in here, once we pass the icon prop, now we can specify which icon we want. So you can do icon. So the name is gonna be equal to add. So this uses actually the font awesome icons. So any icon you find on font awesome will be available to use here. So now this is gonna be saying add contact. So if we check it, you can see we have add contact. So you can have variations of the buttons. So if you come over here, let's say you go to buttons, you can have variations. So if you come over here, you can see you can have these, these are basic ones, these are standard ones. So I'm gonna add a basic here. So what that will do is make this one basic. So if you wanted it in blue, like we have in the main one, you can actually pass a primary here. So that's gonna go ahead and make it blue. So regarding the, the logout one, we are basically going to have a similar setup. So in this menu item, gonna replace this, then this is gonna be logout. So this now can have an icon of exit, since we are logging out. And this one, we can actually give it a color here. So we can do color equals like red. So any color you can give it. So if you come back, you can see that it's now looking like 
<laughs> yeah, so the icon is not working properly. So if you ever want to find which icon you can use, you can come to icon, you can search for icon. So let's see exit. Exit. It actually doesn't exist. So let's look for logout. Logout. Not sure which one I used in the main one. Well, yeah, it's called log out. <laughs> yeah, this one. So I'm gonna copy that and then use that. Okay, so if you come back now, notice that we have our buttons. Everything is looking the way we want it. So one good thing about semantic is that you can actually compose components on the fly. So what I mean now is you notice how this is a button. So if you wanted to use this a link in here, you can actually come in here and you add as equals another component. So now you can say as equals a component from wherever you want to get it from. So we'll be using the link one from React Router DOM. So we can import it by import link React Router DOM. Okay, so that gets it. So right here, now once you add a custom component in the as, you can actually supply props here that will affect this. So now since we can navigate by supplying a two, you can add two equals create contact. Actually, let's see how we call it. So that would be in the routes index. So that will be this. So this is what we're gonna add as the two. So if we come over here, uh, where is it? In the header, we can pass the two to go there. So now if you come, you notice that nothing changes, but when we hover in the right, in the left bottom corner, you can set it's a link. So clicking there will navigate us. Okay, great. So now that we have created the header component, we can reuse it anywhere. So you can actually bring it in to, let's say, create contact like here, see if we bring it in here, let's import it. So if you come over, you can see everything is good, just the way we want it. So we can add a link to go to the home here. So we can actually do that by composing it the way we did for the contact. So I'm gonna copy the as. So right here on this menu item, you can actually supply an as too. So this one will be going to the home route. So if we come over here, you can see that now it's a link. Clicking on it goes home. Clicking here goes here. Okay, so this is how you can get started with semantic. I believe it's a cool library. It can save you a ton of time if your project is not is like time bound. So that's so that's gonna do it for the video. If you enjoyed it, consider giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.